Hi everyone, Craig Zelzer here with another review of a really cool AI for impact tool that we've dived into using in PCDN. I'm going to share this one publicly, but we have a lot more reviews of AI for impact tools in our career campus. And so this one is called Gamma.op. And I've already done a review of it once, but I'm doing an updated review. And first of all, I just got to say it's mind blowing, you know, just incredible. You can sign up for free if you just click here. Um, and basically what Gamma does, it's, I think, the world's best presentation AI-assisted platform. I've tried dozens and a lot of them promise a lot and they don't do very much. So with Gamma, you can design, you know, like PowerPoint type presentations, interactive, you can design website stuff, you can design documents, and really the AI and the technology is the best that I've seen. So just give you a little bit of an overview here. So this is kind of an overview. You, know, you can do docs, decks, web pages in seconds. You know, maybe it's not a second, but it's, a, you know, it's very easy to edit. I do have to say it took me a little bit of time to learn when I first started using it, but you know, I've switched out of PowerPoint. And we use Canva all the time, and Canva is amazing, but I still find Canva's AI tools extremely limiting. So you can just see, you can send it with people, you can share it. And the really cool thing is you can both use AI for images, for text, for layouts, you can quickly change things. And so in terms of pricing, you know, if you click here, you can get it for free. One of the cool things is I had a free account for a while, tested it out. And if you share and get others to sign up with your free account, you get a lot more credit. So I think at one point I was up to like 10,000 credits, but I decided I wanted to go for the paid account. Then there's a, a Plus plan, you know, kind of similar, but you get recurring credits. And then there's the unlimited per plan, which to me, $15 a month is very affordable if you're using this you know, for your work or consultant or organizational work. And if you do sign up via our link, you know, for a paid account, we'll get a percentage of revenue, which helps support our work, but I would be sharing this anyway. So I'm gonna pause here and then log in and give you some demonstrations. So now you can see this is, you know, if you have a paid account, so that's similar and free. There's templates, inspiration themes, you can share this. So when you click here on create new, I'm going to demonstrate, you can do, you can put in a text, you can generate from prompt, you can import a file. So I'm going to do, let's do generate. And then it gives you one, a presentation, which is again, like a PowerPoint, a document or a web page. So I'm gonna hit pause for a second, but the cool thing and they just updated is you can choose the number of cards you want. You know, it's kind of like the template. So I'm pause for a second, I'll put in a prompt. So the prompt I put in is create a super engaging presentation and what is the world's most sustainable ice cream, their supply chain and why. So you can see, you can pick the language. So you know, lots of languages, if, you, if English is not your native language or you're working with a different audience. So you hit generate outline and then you can see you've got this really quickly you know, and it's giving you a sample of what it's going to be. You can add cards. It's asking you how much text do you want? Um, do you want to do images with AI generated? Or do you want to look for web or kind of unsplash? Again, if you're using web stuff, you got to be careful about, let's say, copyright issues. But if it's AI generated, generally, I mean, I'm not a lawyer, but generally I think you're okay. You can click down here in advanced mode and get even more things here. I'm not going to get into this, but you can see, so I'm going to hit pause here. So what I put in the more advanced mode, I said write it for social impact professionals, medium amount of text per card, generate generate the AI. So you can do it free form. I'm gonna do it card by card. So you hit continue. And I'll hit pause after a second, but it gives you a choice of a theme. The themes I think could be a little better, but you know, they're getting there. So I picked a theme, I'm gonna hit generate. And now you can see what's really cool is literally within about 20 seconds, you start getting a, you know, it takes a little bit of time, but here's the presentation. You get text, you get images, you get all sorts of formats that you can use. This one's a little bit text heavy for an actual presentation, but I said use a medium amount of text. So I'm going to hit pause and we'll review this, you know, once it's more. Okay, so literally this took, let's say, a minute 15, not even. And you can see I just put in a simple prompt. It's giving us images, text, various slides. And the really cool thing, if you don't like something, for example, let's say I don't like this image, you can click here. And if you want to change, you can change the card, you can change the image. So the ability to edit, change, adapt, you can do AI prompting for the language. Let's click here. Let me select this whole thing. And if you go over here, edit with AI, it gives you the text. You can visualize the key points if you want something simpler. And it gives you, you know, over here on the right, it's visualizing the key points. Super cool. And again, 
it's so mind-blowing what you can do with this. And then you can present it, you can download it, you can share it. And again, because it combines both AI text generation images, you can really customize and say, you know, create a presentation that shows why Ben and Jerry's or some other ice cream flavor is or isn't the most sustainable in the world. So I'm gonna pause here, I'll do a demonstration of a basic website and also a document. So I went back, generate, used a similar prompt, hitting generate the outline. So one of the things that's nice is you can change this, you can go in and change text, you can add things. So I'm gonna hit continue. I actually haven't experimented with the website yet. So let's pick a preview, let's go with this one, hit generate, and then we'll see, you know, again, I think it should be within a minute at most. So it's thinking right now, at least the, you know, the AI is running all the formulas. So again, this is, you know, a basic website. Um, you know, again, I still have to learn how do you take this and actually, you know, is it just a mock-up? You could actually take this and integrate it to a website, but it's pretty cool. And so now I'm gonna stop. So the last thing I'll demonstrate is similar, going back to generate, create a document. And I said, create a 10 page report on why Ben and Jerry's is or isn't the most sustainable ice cream in the world. So again, you hit the outline. So again, this is really the cool thing is before I was just talking about sustainable ice cream and here it's actually giving me the outline based, you know, and you can change any of these slides instantly. So I hit continue. Let's see, again, I think their themes could be better. So, you know, and they are improving. So let's go, we can do a custom theme. This is something I've used in the past. Let's hit generate. And we're gonna see how this goes in terms of, you know. So let's see, this still seems a little bit like a presentation to me. You know, so maybe it's in between a presentation and a document, but this is quite cool. So it talks about flavors and it's putting in pictures. And again, you know, the, the danger of this is, you know, how much original research do you need to do? Do you need to acknowledge that this was done in part or a lot by AI? Um, but again, super cool. Um, you, again, if you click on the slide, you can edit, you can change, you can work with formatting, layout options. So you can embed videos. So, so again, I've tried lots of tools and by far this is the most sophisticated I've ever found. Of course, you can do things in Google Slides, Canva. There's lots of other ones that promise a lot, but I would encourage you check this out for your you know, professional work or if you're doing presentations or reports. Um, sign up for the free version. Give it a test. If you do sign up for the paid version, again, I think it's super affordable. Obviously, it depends on your budget. Um, if you sign up with the code that you'll see below, then we'll get a percentage of revenue to support our work. And thank you so much and stay tuned for more tools.